Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own Minecraft server that you can play on with your friends and this tutorial will include how to port forward, how to change your IP for your server, and how to share the mod pack with your friends. And before the tutorial starts, make sure to hit that subscribe button with hand sanitizer on. Now let's get into the tutorial. The first thing you guys want to do is open up Google Chrome. Go to the link in the description to open up java.com. When you're here, you're going to want to scroll down a little bit. Go to Windows, Windows Offline 64-bit. Make sure you install a 64-bit version, otherwise this will not work. The next thing you guys want to do is go over to multimc.org, link in the description by the way. You're going to want to scroll down and go to Windows Download 32-64-bit. If you do need help installing MultiMC, make sure to go into the next link in the description, which will be one of my other YouTube videos on how to download Tobias Craft. But in that video, we'll show you how to install MultiMC successfully. The next thing you guys wanna do is go over to files.minecraftforge.net, also link in description, by the way. When you're here, you're gonna to wanna to go over to 1.7, go to 1.7.10, and go to download recommended, and make sure you hit Windows Installer. If you are planning to make your Minecraft server in a different version, feel free to go over to a different version over here, but for this tutorial, we're gonna be sticking with 1.7.10. Okay, when you click Windows Installer, this page should come up. Do not click Start Download, do not click anything on this page. Go to the top right where it says Skip and click it. Forge should start downloading in the bottom left. It should be really quick. The next thing you guys wanna do is right click on your desktop, click New, click folder. You're going to want to change the folder name to whatever your server name is going to be. I'll just put mine to test. I'll just do just plain old test there. You're going to want to click on this. You don't want to drag this into the folder. You don't have to do that. Just open it up. Something will come up and say, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Click yes. Don't worry. It's very safe. Next thing you guys want to do is click install server, then click on these three little dots, go to desktop, then click on whatever your folder name is. For example, mine is test. And then this shouldn't be read anymore and then hit okay. This will now start to install all the files you need for your Minecraft server. Okay, then when it's complete, it should say successfully downloaded Minecraft server, downloaded 17 libraries and installed Forge. If it doesn't say 17, you probably have a different version of Forge than I do. You can now close out of the Forge folder. The next thing you guys want to go do is actually find the mods that you guys want. So you can either use Curse Forge here, or else you can go to the Twitch launcher, go to mods, hit Minecraft, then go to create custom profile, then create whatever version you want your mod pack to be in. For mine, it was 1.7.10. Then add a profile name if you want, you don't have to, then hit create. When you're in that, you can click get more content and then download all the mods that you want in your Minecraft server. When you're done installing all the mods, you can go back to your custom profile. It should say installed mods and it'll have all your mods that you want. Okay, so now that you have all your mods downloaded and in a file of some kind, you can close out of the Twitch launcher if you're using that. You're going to want to go back to your test file here. You're going to open that up. You're going to want to click on this file right here that should say universal at the end. This will now start to install all the extra files that you need to actually put your mods in. So it should say EULA. You're going to want to open that up and change EULA false to EULA true. So when you have that done, you're going to want to go over back to your Twitch launcher, or you can go back over to wherever you have your other mods from CurseForge. You're going to want to click on this little wheel right here. You're going to want to click on it, go to open folder. When you're in here, you can click on mods. You're going to want to copy all of these mods, and then you're going to want to go into this mods folder, right click and hit paste. If you guys do want other mods that aren't in the Twitch launcher like Aura Spawn, you can go to Aura Spawn or whatever the web address is and then download it from there and then drag it into this mods folder. When you have that done, you can open this file up again. Now that you have all of your files installed, you can right click, create new text document. You're going to want to change the title to server start. You're then going to want to go into the description and copy the command line. Once you've copied it, you're going to want to open up this text document and right click and hit paste. 
if you're watching this anytime in March of 2019, you should have the same Forge file name as I do. If you do not copy all of this, do not delete .jar and then replace all of this with this file name right here. Once you've done that, you should be done with this file, except you have to do one more thing. If you wanna hit file, click save as, then you're gonna to wanna to change save as type and change it to all files. You're gonna to wanna to put at the end of the server start, you wanna do .bat, click save. You should now have a different looking file that says Windows batch file. You can now delete this text document right here. When you're in here, you can also right click, go to edit. If you wanna allocate a different amount of RAM to your server, you can change these right here. This is gonna be your minimum amount of RAM and this is gonna be your maximum. I suggest at least four for a server. I'm doing eight because I have 16 gigabytes of RAM on my computer. Then go file, save if you've changed it. You can then open up this folder to start your server. As you can see, you are now in the command prompt and it is now loading up your whole server. Okay, so this is probably gonna be the hardest part of making your server, right? It's, it's really not hard, it just takes a lot of time. So when it says um, press any key to continue dot dot dot, this means that your server has crashed and there's something wrong with your server. So when this happens, you're gonna to wanna to scroll up all the way until you see these uh, file names right here. These are all your mods that you have on your server. You're gonna to wanna to look for the ones that say you see, that you're gonna to wanna to look for the one at the very end that says E. So you're gonna to wanna to scroll down until you see it. So right here it says UCE. The rest of them say UCH. So UCE means there's been an error loading the mod. So right here it says mutant creatures. So that's obviously the mod that's not working. You you can either try getting a different version of this mod or you can just delete it. So here, you're gonna wanna hit space bar probably. You're gonna wanna go to mods folder. I'm just gonna delete it. You're gonna wanna look for mutant creatures. There it is, mutant creatures, right click delete start the server once again. Okay, there's been another error. Now we have to look up here and see if we can find the next error. Now all the H's are H's and not E's. So that's the first part of it done. So the next thing we need to find is another E. So U, C, H, E. So this one is mouse tweaks. This is the mod that's not working. So once again, you can either find a different version of the mod or just delete it. I'm just gonna delete it because it's probably the easiest thing to do. Okay, there it is, mouse tweaks, so right click, delete. You can now start the server up once again. By the way, if your server ever crashes again, you can always go back onto your command prompt right here and look up in these files to see what happened. You can see where the error was located. If it says block ticking world or something like that, there's, a, there's been an issue with a mob, I think, in the world and that mob is corrupted and you cannot launch the server. To fix that, you need to go and revert to a backup. So how to do that is what you have to do is go to backups. There should be a few, there should be at least one folder here. If not, you can use the command slash admin backup start. When you're in your world, every time you complete something big or there's something awesome that you just completed and you don't want it getting deleted, do slash admin backup start. If it, does, if it doesn't let you do this command, make sure to go into your command prompt right here and do op and then type in your name. This will give you operator on the server. Okay guys, as you can see, the server is not crashing anymore. We fixed most, or if not all, of the bugs in the server files. So the next thing you guys wanna do is go over to MultiMC. You're gonna wanna open it up. Make sure you are signed into your account. Click on add instance. Go to whatever version you have your mods on. Mine is 1.7.10. Click okay. You're gonna wanna launch this up. I know we don't have Forge or anything installed. We don't have our mods in, but this is just to create the files that we need. So hit quit game. Once you're here, you wanna click edit instance. You're gonna wanna go to version, click on install forge. Once you're in here, look for the one that has the star, then click okay. As you can see, forge is now installed. You can close out of this. You can go to your Minecraft folder. You can go to mods and then paste in all your mods from your Minecraft server. So now that you have all your mods installed, you can now launch into your version of Minecraft. Okay guys, you are now in your Minecraft. If you wanna go start playing on a single player world, go ahead, but that's not what we're here to do. We're here to play a multiplayer server. The next thing you guys wanna do is click add server, then go to server address and type in localhost. This is the IP that only you are gonna be using. No one else, if anyone 
anyone else uses this IP to get into your server, it won't work. So the next thing you wanna do is just hit done. The server will be on, as you can see, we're running it in the background. Once you're here, you can open it up. And as you can see, we are now in the server. So as you can see, if we wanna go to our tab here, it'll say, uh, sent config to Tobias Maximus, that's me. What you can do then is do op, and then type in the username, Tobias underscore Maximus. And now it says opt Tobias Maximus. You can see server opt me. So now I can do slash game mode C if I want to, and I can fly around, play on the server and do stuff like that. You can go into creative inventory, survival inventory if you want. Okay, so now we have to make it so other people can join the server. So we're gonna close out of our Minecraft here. Actually, we can stop the server for now because we're not actually gonna be on it. You can close out a multi MC. We can close out a Twitch now. Next, we are going to be port forwarding RIP so other people can also join the server. What you have to do is have to go to your keyboard, hold down the Windows key and then press R. Type CMD, hit okay. Now that we're here, you're gonna wanna type IP config. So once you're in here, you're going to want to look for a default gateway. Under that should be this IP. So it should look similar to this. So once you have this IP, memorize that or do control C to copy it. We can now close out of this. So once you're in Google Chrome, you want to type in that IP that you saw. For me, it's 10.0.0.1. So once you're in here, just click enter. So in here, you're going to want to type in your username and password for your internet. By default, I think the username should be admin and the password should be password or they're both admin. It's something like that. So I'm going to type in my information really quick and I'll be right back. Once you are signed in, go down to advanced, go to port forwarding. If it doesn't show port forwarding here, go to this link right here. Okay guys, once you've clicked on that link, it should take you to some page like this. If it doesn't take you straight to this page, make sure to sign in with your Xfinity ID and password, or if you're on like something else, some other internet provider, type in the ID and password. Next thing you wanna do is go to network, go to advanced settings, go to port forwarding. And this is my port that I already have set up here. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to add port forward and then select your computer device. Mine is just Tobias. Next thing you wanna do is click select one, go to manual setup. Once you're here, type in the port number. Uh, for Minecraft, it's gonna be 25565 as default. Or if you wanna have more than one server running at the same time, if you have like 32 gigabytes of RAM on your computer or something, you can change this to something like 255 five six six or something like that but if you change that you also have to go into your test server and change go into server and change the server port to the same thing right there so two five five six six we'll just use this as a test for now hit save okay so now that you have your port forward set you want to make sure protocol is on tcp slash udp click apply changes adding port forward port forward added now you have successfully port forwarded hello everybody uh this is editing aiden here i noticed a mistake or not really a mistake but something that i left out in the video and i'm here to actually show you how to fix that okay so if you're having troubles with people not being able to join your network i think this is only for xfinity users but what you have to do is you have to go to network go to advanced security and then go to whatever device you're using to port forward so mine is aiden's bc so i'm going to click on that go to unauthorized access attempts go to threat history and then these are going to be like all the people if that if it says port to five 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 six five or whatever port your minecraft server is on this is going to be like people that want to join your world but it's not letting them so what you have to do is come over here and then click this button that says like allow or something like that it'll allow them to use your minecraft server for 30 days and after that 30 days you will have to click on it again so they can join the server but yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys so back to the video once you have successfully port forwarded you need to create a domain so people can't get your public ip address so to do this, you want to go over to the next link in the description, which is freedns.afraid.org. I know it looks kind of outdated, maybe a little bit sketchy. So, but the next thing you guys need to do once you are here is you want to go to subdomains, click on starter. Once you're here, make sure to fill it all 
fill out all this information for your user ID. I've heard a lot of people have are having issues with what does user ID mean? That's basically going to be your username. So just type in anything you want. It really doesn't matter. Uh, make sure you type in this correctly. I agree and send activation email. The email is very in depth when you get it. Okay guys. So once you've signed in, you're going to want to go over to the left here again and go to registry. So once you've clicked on registry, you should be taken to this page right here. So here, this is going to show you the ends of whatever your domain is going to be. So for example, if you want a sm really small one, this us.to is probably a good idea to use. Or if you want chickenkiller.com at the end or moo.com at the end, you can go ahead and use those as well. So I'm going to use us.to. So you click on that right here. You're going to want to go to type A. You want to go to subdomain and I'm just going to put test, right? I already have one for the Tobias Craft server. So go to domain that should be set to us.to public here, right here where it says destination. This should already be filled out. If it is not filled out, make a new tab and type in what's my IP address IP4, right? This is not going to be it. This is going to be your IPv6. So you're going to want to, well, if it shows an IPv4, then you can use that. But this is an IPv6. So uh, make sure you're not using that. So go to just what's my IP.com. And then it should say my public IP before is this address. So this is going to be your IP that's I have blurred out here, but this is going to be the IP you're going to be using right here. You're going to want to copy it and then paste it into destination. Next thing you want to do is type in uh, what this says. So for mine, it says X F Y O click save. If it says error, the host name test.us.to is already taken. That means that your subdomain name has already been taken. So we're going to do test sev just type in random numbers there right then we go to save okay guys once you are here you can actually uh copy this and then later we'll go into minecraft and we'll paste this so the next thing we need to do now that you have your uh domain added you want to open up your test file here you're going to want to go to server start and while that's starting we'll just have that minimized we're going to go to multi mc and we're going to hit launch Okay guys, we are in the multiplayer section of Minecraft here. And as you can see, it says cannot connect to server. So to change that and to fix it so we can actually play, even while the server is running down here, we have to change it to semicolon 65566 since we are using a different port to play. So whenever people are trying to join your server, make sure you give them this IP right here and make sure they do 25566 if you're using a different port. I do advise you not to use it a different port because people sometimes will forget that and they'll be like super confused. they be like, I can't join the server. So yeah, just make sure that you tell them to do that. Okay guys, so this is gonna be the last step on creating your custom private Minecraft server. So the next thing you guys need to do is head over to MultiMC. When you have that open, select your mod pack, but don't launch it, just select it so it looks blue. Go to the bottom right where it says export instance, click on that. Then what you have to do is click okay. So what you do then is just click save. Okay, when that's done, go over to dropbox.com, link in description. When you're here, go over to the top right where it says upload files, click on that, and then find wherever you saved your 1.7.10 mod pack and click on it and then click open. Click upload. It will then begin uploading. When the box down below says complete, go over to files, then find your mod pack. For example, mine is right here. Go over to the right where it says share, click share, click create link. Then click copy link, right click copy, then go to whatever platform you're going to send your friends this mod pack. By the way, guys, this is the mod pack file. All you have to do is send this link to them. It'll automatically start downloading onto their computer and then they can import it right into multi MC and then you guys can play. So for example, mine is on the Tobias craft fan server. So all you have to do is go there, right click and hit paste and change the zero down here to a one. This will make it so it automatically downloads. It's super easy to do guys. And once you send that to them, the mod pack will start downloading and then you guys can start playing together. So if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, make sure to smash a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Tobias Maximus channel if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye-bye.